Hello, I'm Sandy Potter. I'm Michael L. And welcome to Ageless Living. Have you heard October is audiology month? See what I did there? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> It's true, and it's the perfect time to talk about how important it is to monitor our hearing throughout our lives. That's right. So we brought in an expert to get the latest information, our resident audiologist, Dr. Hilary Lewis from Asana Care Hearing Center. Let's take a look at our virtual discussion. Hello, Dr. Lewis. Thank you so much for joining us once again here on Ageless Living. Thanks for having me, Sandy. It's wonderful to have you here today. You know, our hearing, it's one of those things that we often take for granted and it's not something we may keep on our list of to do's when it comes to scheduling our our regular medical checkups. Why is it so important though to make it a priority, especially as we age? It's a great question, Sandy. Um, Many people understandably think hearing loss is part of the normal aging process and in many ways they're correct. The auditory system, just like any other system in our body, has is subject to change due to the passage of time. However, it's important to know that hearing loss is not an inconsequential part of aging. Hearing loss has been linked to an increased risk of depression, increased risk for falling, diabetes, medical errors, and even dementia. Frank Land, an epidemiologist out of Johns Hopkins, he and his colleagues have done many studies on the link between hearing loss and dementia. And in one study, they tracked over 600 adults with hearing loss for nearly 12 years. And what they concluded is that people with even a mild hearing loss have a double the risk for dementia. People with a moderate hearing loss tripled the risk. And people with a severe hearing impairment were five times more likely to develop dementia. Now, it's important to remember that if you have a hearing loss, that doesn't automatically mean that you'll have a cognitive decline, but it shows a link and a higher likelihood. So knowing this information as an audiologist, we're always encouraging people to add regular hearing screenings to their list of to-dos. So I know for me, in terms of preventative measures, I get my teeth checked twice a year, I have a physical, my eyes checked annually. So we're asking people to think about adding a hearing screening to that list. Um, Hearing screenings are quick, they're simple, and they allow us to determine a baseline for which we can monitor any changes over time. That's great advice and wonderful information. And I think many people may also not realize that hearing loss is a huge quality of life issue. Definitely. Hearing loss has been directly linked to a possible decline in one's quality of life. Many studies have been able to confirm that. Researchers have found that individuals with untreated hearing loss are more likely to develop depression, anxiety, and feelings of inadequacy. They also may avoid and withdraw from social situations that they once loved. And you can understand why. If you can't confidently or comfortably go into a conversation because your hearing loss doesn't allow you to hear and understand most of that conversation, you're less likely to engage. The good news is, is that people with hearing loss who address that hearing loss, meaning they opt for hearing aids or other assisted listening devices, they've shown to have an improvement in their social and emotional well-being. So they're more inclined to participate in the activities they love. They are just being more social and their quality of life has improved. Um, Treating hearing loss decreases our risk for isolation and it increases our self-esteem. And you were saying good news. If folks do find that they need some hearing assistance, the technology that's available now is really amazing. It's remarkable. So hearing aids, it's not like your grandfather's hearing aids from years ago. Um, Hearing aid technology, just like computers, our cell phone, it's improving at a rapid pace. So what was top of the line five years ago in the world of hearing aids is probably obsolete. They probably don't make that make and model anymore. Um, Hearing aids are getting so much better at reducing background noise and improving speech clarity in more challenging situations, which is what people with hearing loss often contend with. Um, Hearing aids have become smaller and less conspicuous. Case in point, I've been wearing one the whole time. Um, Hearing aids are now rechargeable. So having to change batteries, that's usually um, eliminated now with a rechargeable option. And the most exciting thing is also that the hearing aids can connect wirelessly to our Bluetooth devices, such as our smartphones and our tablets. So 
Rather than having to rely on the hearing, or excuse me, the tablet speaker, or having to hold your smartphone up to your hearing aid, we can program them so that the hearing aid streams directly, or excuse me, the phone streams directly to the device. So think about how much we depended on technology over the last year and a half, especially in the height of the pandemic. People were only doing Zoom meetings from working from home. They were FaceTiming with their loved ones. They were connecting via phone calls. So people with hearing loss now have the advantage of getting a better sound quality with Bluetooth compatible hearing aids and that can connect us to our loved ones so much better. Sounds very true. That is remarkable technology. Thank you so much for all of this helpful information. I'm sure folks will have many more questions questions and we'll put your contact information up on the screen for them to be able to reach out to you directly. I love it. Great. We look forward to having you back again in the future. Thanks again so much for joining us. Thank you, Sandy. And now let's take a look at what's happening around Masonicare. The results are in and thanks to you all, we're honored to announce that we won two Reader's Choice Awards sponsored by the Meriden Record Journal. Masonicare at Ashler Village was recognized for Best Assisted Living and Masonicare Health Center for Best Skilled Nursing. Huge thank you to everyone who voted and especially to our amazing team members who make awards like these possible by creating great experiences for those we serve. And congratulations to our latest gem, Go the Extra Mile Award winner, Jasmine, a certified nursing assistant at Masonicare Health Center. We are so proud of Jasmine and thank her for being a positive presence and influence and for always putting our residents first. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Ageless Living. We look forward to bringing you more stories about living well as we take this journey together. And until next time, stay well and remember, be ageless. Bye. Thank you.